Hey guys, how's it going? I apologize. I know it's been a really long time. Um, it's been, I think, almost six months. Um, I'm still extremely busy. I intend to go do some more watch videos and I want to get back sort of more to my roots, uh, if you can say three, four years as having roots, but I want to start restoring watches again. Uh, I still haven't built my place. I've been doing school, work, all kinds of stuff, home renovations. But anyways, I wanted to do this video today because a good friend of mine uh, put together a watch called the Royston One. <clears throat> now, I've known this guy for several years. We both work together. Uh, and um, it is truly a fantastic watch. Like, I cannot emphasize this enough. Um, a lot of people, when they first look at this, they'll say, oh, you know, where did he get the movement? Or, oh, where did he get this part from? Uh, this man, Dr. Royston, actually built uh, a watch here in the United States, and over 95% of the watch was built entirely in his garage. Now, I, I want to emphasize, this isn't, he didn't just like put some stuff together with a screwdriver and a hammer. Uh, he purchased some really, really quality tools. A lot of the tools that he used to make these parts are original tools that he bought from original watchmakers back in the day. Um, he also used modern techniques. Uh, he used a CNC machine to rough cut uh, with precision some of the uh, like the, the plates and stuff, but he still had to hand finish everything. Um, I'll show a picture up here just real quick so you can see. Uh, this is his uh, leftover, his garbage. This is the stuff that didn't make the cut. Um, he did this, I can't remember the time, and, and I'll put a link at the top uh, and also in the comments. So you can see the full video and, and I, I really encourage you to see the entire video. It's well worth it. Um, but he built every part himself. The only thing he didn't build, the only thing he didn't make himself was the mainspring and these, he did not cut and fire the sapphire crystal himself. Everything else he did himself. He even made the, the spring bars and cut the leather entirely uh, himself. It's absolutely fantastic. I don't want to waste your time. I will get back to more videos. If you care about what I'm doing, I'll, I'll get back to some more videos and I'll do some more watch pair. I've just been busy. But uh, please scoot over to his um, site, click the link, and watch the, uh, watch the image. Uh, he doesn't really sell them right now. This is more a labor of love. Um, but absolutely fascinating. Please check it out. Thank you.